One of the keys to learning is fun, and that's the idea behind a series of new interactive plays performed by the Honolulu Theater for Youth. The dinosaurs are here until September 25th, and Dr. V and I went to learn more about how scientists learn about dinosaurs from their fossils. All right, Dr. V, I know that kids are going to be excited about learning about this, but how do kids learn about, well, dinosaurs when they're in the ground with fossils, right? I should say, always when I look at him, I'm really scared. I know, he's behind me, so I'm not even <laughs> looking right serious. now. I'm just going to hope he's down there. But, but how do we learn well, about that? Well, we're trying to teach about uh, fossils. Mm -hmm. So fossils are basically the definition is either the, the bones or the impressions of the bones that, um, that remains on the ground. Underground. After the actual bone is rotted away. Thousands and so thousands. So it could be the actual bone right, or like the impressions. That. So what we're trying to do today is to to, to show how to make fossils at home. Okay. At your home. Very Actually, cool. the actual fossils takes about tens and millions of years. So this is a little quick version we're doing. Quick version. Okay, so, well, what do we have here? So we have, actually, I, I, I have um, the clay. Okay, so regular and clay. actually, we poured clay on a wax surface. Okay. And then made an impression of a bone okay. on, the, on the clay and then poured plaster of Paris on the top surface. Oh, okay. okay. Now, Dr. V, we were talking before about, I always thought a fossil is an actual bone in the ground, but it, that's not the case. It could sometimes. be the actual bone mm -hmm. or the impression as well. Oh. In this case, we're trying to have an actual bone. Okay. Okay, so the bone is made of clay. Oh, okay, okay. got it. So that's what we're doing here. So let's see. Okay, this is actually my bone here. Okay. Buried under the ground. Okay, so, so we're you could go ahead and remove the... So remove this the is soil. like me going to the ground, digging out... Removing all the rocks and the soil uh, and everything. So okay, you see now what did I find here? This is the actual bone. Ah. So you could actually dig out a bone like this, you know, just like this. Like the ribs right there, like the ribs there. Ah, exactly. I got it, I so got it. So I have it. one more, so okay. just go ahead and remove it. And okay, see. and again, so this is like the, the clay we put on the plaster True. underneath, right? Yeah. All right, let's see if I can dig it. Ooh, it's kind of spongy there. Ooh, okay. So this is, so this is actually, you can see the different shape. So this is actually a bone of, you know, so based on this bone, you can see what it is, and then you can see, if you do radiometry analysis mm -hmm. on this mm -hmm. thing, you could say how long it's been there, like you know the age of the bone, how old, and it, is how and old it is, and stuff like how that. How difficult it is for scientists Dr., to take this and put it together to come out like this? It's pretty hard. It takes <laughs> like lots of effort because you know you, you, during the process it's, it takes millions of years, mm -hmm. right? So many things are lost. You know the details are lost. So ah. you have to have the art of building it back. Wow. So not only a scientist, you're almost kind of like a, a clue finder trying to figure out how to put a piece exactly. of it all together. Exactly. Wow. Well, this is a very cool experiment. And literally, you can use this with other impressions or other kind of things to make the bones, right? Other details, actually. So this is our clay bone. <laughs> very cool. I can hear you on it. Now, we're going to have all the instructions about this on our website. Hopefully, you can maybe come up with some bones, maybe like the, well, King Triceratops here. But remember, be careful. He does kind of bite. <laughs>